Okay, these are the parts we need to put the choke back together. And um, for what we're doing with the 2-4 setup, we're going with the uh, electric choke. Uh, this is from Holly. And um, we'll open this up. We'll show you the back side. It does have a tang on it that is looped so that it will catch um, our lever here and really encircle that so that it will move in both directions as the choke, uh, ther uh, the thermal part of the choke expands and retracts. Of course, that will move our lever back and forth as well. Um, we've got some other pieces here, of course. Um, we have just a little wire here for ground. We've got our three uh, machine screws and tabs to lock the choke in place. Our housing. And then uh, fast idle cam or piston really acts as a counterweight there. Um, I use a little quarter inch uh, female uh, pipe cap here just to pipe that, uh, just to tap that off or cap that off, excuse me. Uh, bigger deal behind that one is um, you have a vacuum passage here uh, that goes all the way through, and I like to seal that off. Um, I leave the vacuum open there thinking that maybe it may have something to do with a piston acting as a counterweight um, um, this is our lever that goes through uh, the back side here right through that large hole uh, gasket of course uh, three mounting screws and just some small pieces of hardware and the small gasket that goes with that vacuum passage so we'll get this together and as we go along maybe we need to take notes show you some things we will Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at this package here. Um, this is the electric choke from Holly.